Hey everyone, it's Wednesday. Let's head out to the zoo. Neil Anderson joins us live this morning from Suamico. Hi, Neil. It sounds like I'm with a bunch of donkeys, but actually what I am with is uh, some black-footed penguins. And they sound like donkeys. They make a braying noise. and. They've been let out for the morning. They spend the, the night inside the, the exhibit building. And we do that, you know, for a variety of reasons, you know, for potentially outdoor predators and also to keep them away from mosquitoes, which can carry a, an avian malaria uh, that can be, at times, even deadly for these guys. <coughs> but we wanted to show you right here. There's one making, see, he's making his brain sounds. But check this guy out. He is molting, and this is a great opportunity for us to talk, you know, about penguins and molting. Normally with the African penguins here, they molt in August, end of July, August, once a year, and they replace all their feathers. And unlike other birds where, you know, the feathers drop off, these feathers go ahead, the new ones grow underneath, and they push the old ones out. So you can see how, how kind of dull grayish looking he is. Mm -hmm. And that's the, all the old feathers. Underneath, there's new feathers going to be pushed out. And then he'll look like the other penguins. But here's what you can, you know, here's how you can know they're going to go ahead and go into a molt, is they're going to eat a lot. They're going to almost double their weight. So when the bird is starting to eat, and we know it's about that time of season, we know they're probably going into a molt. Now they're going to put on, let's say, close to double their weight. Then they're going to stop eating. It's a very stressful time for the bird. This bird is not going to go in the water. It's just going to hang out, you know, and it's, you know, almost a two-week period. And then all of a sudden, you know, the new feathers will come in, and then he'll get back into eating. But here's what's interesting with penguins is these guys, their body weight is about neutral in the water. So it makes them re real easy for them to just swim around, dive up and down. So it's like, like a diver, you know, with a, with a dive belt. Now, when you come out of a molt, you could... What you end up being is a lot less of your normal body weight. Some penguins will actually pick up a stone. We got stones in here, mm -hmm. and they'll actually ingest a stone so that they can swim around. It'll be easy for them to stand the surface and dive to compensate for that weight. They mean to do so that. It's real. They actually do that. Yes, wow. they actually do that. They'll actually pick it up, and until they get their body weight up, and then they'll go ahead and, like, say, get rid of the the, the stone. They'll regurgitate out the stone. But it's real interesting, uh, the whole molting process, and it's something also we've got to watch. You can check, check this guy's got out on his wing. He's got a band. Now, those wings swell up. They're almost double in size because they're full of blood. And what you have to do is make sure you're real careful in checking those bands so they don't restrict the blood flow to, to the I, wings. Yeah, and, you know, while and then, were, I'm sorry, go ahead. Sure. Oh, no. No, and I was just going to say, you know, the other thing we do is, you know, we have all these guys microchip, too. So if we have to take a band up off, we know who's who. But during this particular time, uh, during the molt is, you know, just something that you really got to watch. Uh, yeah, and as you were talking, you could see the molting happening. I mean, there were the feathers falling off of him. Yeah. So. I'm glad we didn't well, see the regurgitation yeah. process, though. Well, yeah, though. that's true. <laughs> Although yeah, the kids at 70. home might have liked that one. <laughs> yeah, exactly. 70 feathers per square inch. Wow. Well, so thanks, Neil. A, a lot of, yeah, a lot of people take their birds off exhibit, so they just don't have a big pillow fight out here. <laughs> there you go. We'll check back for the next hour. See you. Hey, sounds good. Thanks, Neil.